As I have got Rudy Turner, as I have given you the review on my earlier video in my channel, we have got deep breaks in my Rudy Turner. I have said you already. So I have thought of making the video of deep breaks so that actually this video is special for those viewers or those users uh, who are using deep breaks yet now and they are thinking of what to do. As if most of times deep breaks uh, starts malfunctioning something like that, right? So I have made this video of deep breaks so that you can get every detail. Of uh, getting, you know, how to make it, or getting, I mean, the news of everything, and I get to know that you get to know that how to make it better, how to make the beat breaks better, or how to make, how to prepare your beat breaks for the best and best breaking, you know, systems, right? So I'll not waste more of more more words than this uh, introduction. I'll make you go to the original video over there. I just given all the details, so I'll just tell you to please. I'll, I'll just I'll request you to please watch it until then, so that you can get every real information about it. And I'm sure if you watch it then, you're gonna get a huge of amount of help to make your speed brakes better. Right? Just compare it with your disc brakes or with your hydraulic. Right? So let's go into it, right? So friends, when I gonna talk about power brakes? First of all, OB brakes, whatever you say. First of all, I'm gonna go with my wheel alignment in my Rodeo Tono. So let's see it from the first and I'm gonna make it very sure that you have the best brakes, right? So let's see, come on. So guys, here is my V brake. As you can see, first of all, as I said to you, I'm gonna talk about wheel alignment, right? So what is a wheel alignment? Wheel alignment is nothing but checking the wheel is in correct position or not so what is the wheel alignment first of all to check the wheel alignment we're gonna first go to our this one this particular thing okay this hub right how do you check this when uh, this fork is right over here uh, we, we can check it by you know just opening the fork like this just open it so to open it we're gonna use uh, this kind of a spanner right this is an adjustable one Look at it very carefully. You get a, you're going to get this kind of adjustable, uh, you know, uh, spanner in um, nearby hardware stores, right? So you can just fix it up like this. Just adjust it over here according to your, you know, the nut light, uh, and then just toggle it to open it, right? So as it is, you can see it is a bit, a bit difficult, right? Yet I have been opening it. So it's open, right? So actually, what happens? I can tell it to you very clearly. The front wheel alignment never changes. For what? For this thing. As you can see, I'm opening it. This particular thing, I'm telling you very clearly to you, this, this particular thing is a lock that keeps your wheel alignment always in a good position. And when you're going to do a wheelie, right? You know, fix it. You're going to do a wheelie and your front wheel gets, you know, a pressure when it falls down to earth, then uh, there are very severe chances to, uh, you know, that your uh, wheel alignment gets you know changed so I mean uh, get this balance so this kind of th I mean uh, severe problems could be I mean solved with this kind of lock okay so uh, this kind of lock I don't think that you get in every MTB but this uh, this MTB is having this kind of thing so you can easily be able to feel your alignment though it's not going to have such kind of problem but if it breaks in any way in any way then you're gonna feel a pressure on your power brakes over here these things are gonna not work properly these are my v-brakes right you can see 
So whenever the wheel alignment changes, let me tell it to you very properly, the power brake stops working. I mean uh, in a proper manner, right? So I'm gonna fix up my, you know, this kind of problems I sh will face if I uh, see what kind of problems can be faced if I do not, you know, screw it up, right? So I'm gonna tighten it. I'm gonna tighten it a bit lightly. So that later on. Okay now, so let's see over here. We have got this power brakes, right? So what are these technologies? I'm gonna tell it to you from the rear one so that it makes you a bit clear. So here we are coming to our rear brakes. Right. So these are our rear brakes. So you can check my wheel alignment is proper or not by this. As you can see, as I am pressing my brake lever, as you can see, both my brake you know, calipers, these are called as calipers, right? They are working both parallelly, right? Let's check this. Are they parallel or not? Yes, they are parallel. Right? Just check it out very minutely. You will be able to see that both of these brake calipers are working together in the same manner, in the same way. Not a bit small one, uh, maybe sometimes what happens is one of the brake calibers moves like a uh, small, you know, it, it goes like this. Sometimes what happens is uh, one of the brake calibers moves a bit and another one moves the moves more. So what happens like this, it, it can happen. Let's take this. This can happen. Take it out very clearly, I'm trying to show you, okay? See, in this way, with this caliper is not moving, but this caliper is making a better sense, right? So, in the same way, this caliper can be a bit stabilized and this caliper can move more. Sometimes what happens is, these are the problems, right? First of all, when you take a power brake, you can, you can take this first. When you take this, that your calipers are not working in the same manner or parallelly. You can understand that there is a wheel alignment problem. So, how you can check your wheel alignment as I have said to you in your front part front wheel there is no uh, there such problems doesn't arise but in the rear wheel it can arise when you are stoppy what happens is uh, when I have tried as I have tried in earlier phases I face a problem I'm gonna share with you right you can check these marks over here these are uh, made by me okay because uh, opening this nut many times and uh, stabilizing the wheel alignment it has gone such crazy <laughs> to see such you know marks on my uh, bicycle right though it looks weird but what to do nothing has to be done so what happens what happened is nothing but when I uh, was doing a stoppy when this hub went I mean came out from here to here the, the this one the nut was uh, I mean the screw was a little bit you know uh, uh, moved up it was loose so what happened is it just came out so and that particular side when I have been seeing this particular side it has been gone I mean it has been in the same position but this particular sub oh, I mean uh, this particular uh, unit has come outside so what has happened is that but this particular side is I mean the wheel alignment has been changed right so for this problem I have been uh, facing things means many days then I came to know that yes there is a wheel pull element that's why my power brakes are making such problems so uh, first of all when you're going to check our rear brakes we're gonna check that uh, as I said earlier that our wheel alignment is correct or not so how we can check our wheel alignment as it is we're not going to see uh, we don't see actually in average that whether our hub is in a good position or not first you're gonna uh, we just check that uh, how our brake brakes are working. First of all, we face uh, uh, problems like uh, you know uh, when we when we brake, I mean um, press the brake levers. When you try to brake, they not work in the proper way and uh, seems to have a lag, right? So what to do in this this case? First of all, we're gonna say if we face this kind of lag, first of all, we're gonna see that whether the brake calipers, these two are brake calipers, as you can see. So these calipers work properly or not what uh, I mean by working properly let's just check this right 
when I'm pressing the brake levers, as you can see, both the brake calipers are working in a parallel manner, right? You can check as they are both working in the same way, like no one is, I mean, working short and other one is working a bit more. This is not seen, like this says that yes, my power brake or V brake is almost right and it, it's working very properly. So it's not gonna have any lag behind, right? So if, uh, how can we understand that these are facing problems, I mean these power brakes are facing problems. First of all, it's obviously a matter of, you know, uh, wheel alignment, so how we can check. So we are going to check it by C. As in this manner, those, both the braking, braking calipers are working very properly. First of all, we are going to see that most times what happens is, uh, brake calipers, what happens? one of the calipers let, uh, lets the other caliper move very, in a frequent way like this it sometimes moves like this what happens is you can see this caliper is moving in a very good manner like yes it's, it's, it's moving very when, when I press the brake levers this kind of thing happens this caliper um, makes its, its, its move in a very proper way and uh, this caliper gets fixed most of the times what happens is it happens in a you know recipe I mean uh, in a other way like this caliper moves I mean this caliper moves and it makes this caliper in a standstill like it moves a bit slow and this moves a bit you know more so this kind of things happens of nothing but wheel alignment problem so in this way you're gonna check that yes your power brake is working properly or not again I'm telling you how just check that both are working both calipers are working up in a parallel manner or not if they're not working in a parallel manner just check how they're working if this caliper is working in a you know is working a bit more than this caliper just check this like if it happens like this this caliper is working more and see this kind of uh, caliper this caliper is not working uh, as per as the other one like this one if this happens then you can check you can understand that the wheel alignment i mean the, this particular wheel is in this condition i mean this is the straight condition and this wheel if that particular error occurs then this wheel can be in this particular position like it's not in the straight manner this is in the the wheel alignment in, is in this position so how we can check i can check the wheel alignment so first we're going to come to our real wheel over here okay so first of all you can see the hub right here so in this case also i'm going to open this uh, yeah, i mean hub i mean not to buy this kind of a regular adjustable spanner right so how are you gonna open it and just just make it open or else if you do not open it you can check it by this kind of a scale you can get it in a you may be having it of your own so how can you check it so first of all just check that in which condition I mean each measurement is this hub located over here just check I'm getting that this hub is located nearly from the end to 2 centimeters. If you can check it in a proper manner, it's in 2 centimeters, right? So then we're gonna check in that. Let's see. First of all, I'm having a, you know, a delay, delay the guard, right? So I must open it to and I'm gonna move my bicycle. It's enough bad condition so I'm not doing space first of all I'm gonna open my rear derailleur right I mean not a rear derailleur the rear derailleur guard okay sorry for that so I'm gonna open it oh yeah it's a bit tight you know so I'm gonna open it so this is just open right So I'm going to open it. I think my wheel alignment has come to a par. I mean, I think that I will face a bit difficulty. So first I open my nut, and then I'm gonna check with again this kind of a scale, right? So let's see. I'm gonna check it from uh, in here. So what is my wheel alignment? Is it right? Yeah. 
if you can check it in a very proper manner just check it's in two right let's check it out it's two so my wheel alignment is actually right so I'm gonna screw up my derailleur guard over here it up so it's mostly done yeah so always make sure that uh, your you know nut is always in the most tightened position right do not tighten it in the you know <laughs> in your level best position because when you tighten it ah, in the most way what happens is sometimes the uh, I mean the screwing of the hub gets you know loosened and it gets you know wear out so I have checked my wheel alignment is always right so this in, in this we're gonna check your wheel alignment as my bar brakes are not having any problem my wheel alignment is also right so as you have checked the wheel alignment problem is solved so another time wheel alignment sometimes occurs to your bicycle that way what happens is nothing but the wheel alignment what is that uh, this kind of wheel alignment means a different thing sometimes what happens is your rims get uh, you know bended so most of the times uh, when uh, not most of the time sometimes I can say that uh, if in your bicycle in any way uh, comes across any accident or something uh, most of the times uh, in your shock absorber saves you in uh, uh, I mean rear shock of the door saves you your saves your rim to get bended but sometimes what happens if you come across any accident or anything if your rims gets bended then tell you again and again if your rims gets bended in any way if you're gonna you are going to any you know uh, repairer to I mean repair it anybody I can say you anybody cannot repair your bended rim in the most proper way some minor problems may be there in your rim not maybe in the most times they are seen in most cases they are seen that most of the times a rim is I mean fully I mean proper uh, they make try to make I'm um, trying to repair in a full-fledged way but what happens sometimes somewhere in the rim there are some problems and it stays it cannot be you know uh, dissolved right so in that case what happens is as it is your power brakes are fully based on calculations your power brakes if your rim is bended what happens one of the shoes sometimes gets you know uh, gets a good amount of friction in your rims so what you are going to do in that case is to is loosen your V brakes to the most position so that your V brakes doesn't, doesn't you know I mean power shoes brake shoes doesn't face this kind of you know friction as in that case if uh, your V I mean V brake shoes face problems then what happens is uh, they sometimes you know get wear out maybe one of the you know brake shoe of yours gets wear out and the other remains as I've said you not in the not in all the positions but some of the positions your rim gets like this you know it gets covered with waves so what are you gonna do in that case you're gonna loosen this particular nut right and then you're gonna loosen your like it gonna become like this so what happen what would happen is when you be your wheel uh, rear wheel would be moving then uh, your power brakes would not come across I mean a friction from your you know rear I mean rim okay so this kind of things may help but in that case you cannot get the most expected performances of your power brakes then you're gonna I mean go towards your disc brakes or hydraulic brakes whatever you like so now when it is all over you're gonna come across the technology of your power brakes how you can how you can repair it if sometimes it gets you know damaged in if it if the problem is off I mean the brakes itself so what you're gonna do is I mean let me tell you very well 
you can see here is a screw right so here is a spring located in both of the calibers calipers you can see screws are here screws are here to adjust these springs in both the calibers there are springs so what happens is when you tighten the screw up the caliper goes outside tries to get outside you can do it when your rims are not in the proper manner I mean if your rims are bended or something happens you can you know tighten it so that your I mean caliper gets comes outside so that it behaves I mean the power brakes behaves in a good manner and gives you better performance so now to avoid friction also so if you're gonna loosen it loosen the screw what happens is it would work in opposite manner the calipers will move towards inside in this way if your everything is right you can use it to tighten your brakes brakes like this I mean a far better performance as you can see my brake levers they are already my brake are already tightened to the most and best position so you can do it in that way and another thing you can loosen this particular thing and uh, you can uh, bring the wire more inside I mean you can uh, do it like if you want to tighten your brace in this case you're gonna use this kind of a spanner so I'm gonna use it to loosen this okay So it's loosed as you can see and loosen it more the springs would work and this would come outside so if you're gonna let me wait let me see see look at it I loosen it a bit it's going to see it's coming outside so what you're gonna do is loosen it and you're gonna tighten the wire just pull the wire my both of the hands are out I'm going to tighten it like this then two and then you're gonna tighten it like right you're gonna tighten it and this way you make your brakes tighter so that I mean sorry another proper one do it I mean, uh, just tighten it this way your brakes get more tighter and it gives you a better performance right so sometimes last problem that may occur in your brakes what happens is if your wheel alignment is having any problem and your shoes has been facing it since a long time then what happens is one of the shoes of yours gets wet out and the other get, remains same it may occur some problem so what happens is what happens is when you press your brake levers over there and I'm pressing it right what happens is one of the caliber works more and other works less so in that case what you gonna do is just open this by using an allen key and you're gonna open the shoe in this way you're gonna open it if you open this one right you're gonna open the shoe and check the parallelity of the brake shoes if you're gonna check the width of it of them if one of the shoes having a less width than the other one then you're gonna you know I mean you're gonna uh, try to have the better width or you can change your brake shoes what you can do it do is nothing but just open it and just take the shoes out and just you can keep it in both in the parallel condition and then you can rub the more width one I mean uh, the, uh, the brake shoe having the more width you can just rub it on the ground and just then again check the width and then if the width matches then you can again fix it up and then you can move with your bike so it was all about V brakes right it's another thing I can tell you about the brake levers because I'm having a TZ fire shifters of Shimano over here I'm getting a brake lever uh, with it because 
it is as rash as you can check the shifters right so uh, brake levers in this case matters a lot in power brakes if you are not getting the proper brake lever you are not get the perfect performance in any condition I'm gonna tell you very properly that you are not going to get the problem performance of the power brake and not being going to experience any kind of you know curse the power brakes but let me tell you very well that the power brakes are based on these levers also in a very big way right so in that way you can check the brake lift brake levers and then you know make it right so here is all about the brakes right so guys, since it was a long discussion and it was only a boring one, right? So I'm gonna show you a bit performance of my V-Brake, right? As after such a long video, you must be wanting to see some good performances from your V-Brake. You're gonna see it, I'm gonna show you, right? So just you can understand how you can make your V-Brake better. So let's go through. Like, share, and subscribe. So, bye, friends. Remember that. Any difficulty over there, try riding here.